What do parents do when you're not home? Written by Jeannie Franz Ransom. My little sister and I are spending the night at our grandparents. Have fun, Mom says. We will, says my sister. What are you going to do, I ask. I'm sure we'll figure something out, Dad responds. The minute we drive away, Mom and Dad run straight upstairs to their room and do exactly what they always tell us not to do. Jump on the bed with their shoes on. Somebody always gets hurt when you play rough. When they're tired of jumping on the bed, Mom and Dad decide to go sledding. Even though that's not the way we treat pillows in our house. Mom and Dad watch TV for ages. They'll watch anything, even shows they've seen a bazillion times. They sit way too close to the television, which is probably why they both wear glasses. Mom and Dad get hungry, so they fix themselves a little snack. They've probably ruined their appetites, and they'd better hope those Kool-Aid stains come out. After their snack, Mom and Dad run to the playroom and drag out all the toys. Mom goes right from my Beastie Bugs action figures. Dad wants to play with them, too, and nobody wants to take turns. You'd think by now they would have learned to share. At least Mom and Dad can agree on one thing. They both think it's a lot of fun to dress up the dog. I don't know how the dog feels, but those better not be clean clothes he's wearing. Mom and Dad remember that they missed dinner. They grab some food and head into my room to play my video games. They say they don't know how the games work, but I know better. They probably practice all the time when I'm not home. Is that the best use of their time? It's way past bedtime, but Mom and Dad aren't tired. At least that's what they think. They decide to play basketball, even though you're not supposed to play ball in the house. After the ball goes out the window, Mom and Dad see who can get a dirty sock up on the ceiling fan first. No wonder we can never find two pairs of socks that match. Finally, they get ready for bed. They don't even brush their teeth. Mom and Dad stay up half the night reading comic books. They eat cookies and get crumbs all over the clean sheets. And don't tell me that dog is up on the bed again. Ugh. Eventually, Mom and Dad fall asleep. They have to. We'll be home in the morning. They've got a lot of work to do, though. It looks like a tornado came through here. When we come home the next morning, I ask, what did you do while we were gone? Oh, nothing much, Mom says. It's pretty quiet around here when you two are gone. When did you say you're going to spend the night with Grandma and Granddad again, Mom asks? The end.